Hello guys, this is the headphoneaddict.com and today we're going to go through a couple of cool articles and um, some functionality where you can analyze headphones of interest with respect to something called frequency response. So firstly, um, showing you this page you find links to everything I'm using in this uh, video in the description box so go right ahead and click those links if you want to check them out for yourself so this first thing is a hearing test which uh, will check your hearing as it says there here's a list of tones that go from 8 Hertz all the way up to 22,000 Hertz aka 22 kilohertz since kilo stands for thousand uh, it's fairly common for people who are over 25 years of age not to be able to hear above 15 kilohertz or 15,000 hertz. So this will help you find out where your high frequency hearing cuts off. So what you basically got to do is to wear some headphones, preferably, and then just go to through these tones and see how uh, high pitched noises you can hear. Uh, human hearing um, on average goes from 20 hertz all the way up to 20,000 hertz so if you can hear above that congratulations to you if you can't I'm sorry for you <laughs> so this is just a way to check out how your hearing uh, ability is uh, furthermore uh, there's a link for this thing uh, what this thing does is to show you the um, amplitude or loudness of the frequencies as a function of the frequency. So low frequency means bass, while high frequencies means high pitched noises. So. As you can see, I've graphed a couple of Denon AH D7000s, and as you can see here, for instance, uh, this is a logarithmic scale, so it goes from 10 to 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Uh, what you see here is that on around 30 hertz, 20, 30, it starts dropping off below that. So deeper bass than 30 hertz are what you could call recessed because on this scale you see the volume. So when this drops off at the lower frequencies, it means that it's recessed or it's drawn back. It's not loud anymore. So ideally you want to see a, a straight line over all the frequencies as that indicates that all frequencies have the same volume. Uh, if we graph another pair of headphones, like let's do the Sony MDR-XB, uh, Sony MDR-XB 700s, these are known to be bass heavy, so if we compare the headphones, make sure that the graph type is set to frequency response, as you can see here, the Sony MDR-XB have great emphasis on the bass as the bass is much louder than the higher frequencies. So this indicates that the Sony MDR-XB 700s are much more bass heavy than say a pair of Denon AH D7000. So keep in mind that this is all relative meaning that the sound is much louder for the um, lower frequencies on this while it's lower here so that will make the bass stand out really really much uh, if we look at some other headphones like the Odyssey LCD 2s we see that this is much more of a straight line until it reaches about 1 kilohertz or 2000 hertz it starts dropping off so this is basically a way to see if a pair of headphones are suitable for you uh, like if you love a lot of bass it would make sense to 
find headphones that measure more like this. If you like uh, dynamic, orthodynamic headphones like the Odyssey LCD 2s, you would want something like a measuring like these. Also, we can have a look at Monster if they've got those here. Uh, just need to learn the alphabet Beats by Dre headphones. Okay, so it doesn't specify which of them. So it just says Monster Beats by Dre headphones, and that's the orange. So you can see that's got a significant drop off. I'm not sure which headphones these are. So these are probably some earbuds or something like that. But just wanted to show you this great tool, which you can use to find headphones that has your sound signature online. But don't be blind to the measurements though. They give you an indication, but a lot of other things other than just how they measure will uh, be criterions for how well you will like the headphones so don't just go ahead blindly and find headphones using this thing but it's a great tool and i wanted to share it with you so thank you for watching and have a nice day and by the way, remember to thumb up and subscribe if you like the content. Thanks, bye.